Hello YouTube, I'm at it again, although I had promised I never would do it again, uh, but here goes. Uh, I saw a pretty good uh, video by Such on, uh, actually he had posted it on Young Guns, and but he also has it on YouTube, and it is about the uh, Just Right carbine, it's a pistol caliber carbine, uh, shoots 9mm and takes your uh, Glock mags. I thought I'd give you another option. There are few, quite a few out there. kel Sub-2K is uh, by far and away the most popular and the most expensive. Um, but it has some pretty nice features. But this is a uh, Mechtech Systems uh, CCU, their carbine conversion unit. Um, I'll be kind of reviewing this, a little tabletop review, and then I'll take it out to the, the range and uh, show you some uh, shooting, fun shooting with it. Uh, you buy the upper, and you supply your own frame or lower, uh, and they make them for uh, the various Glocks as well as the 1911. Um, uh, it's perfectly legal. Uh, you can take your lower or your frame, attach it to the upper, creating a carbine, uh, and then you can disassemble it, taking your frame off the uh, the upper and reassemble it back into a pistol, and you are not breaking any laws. I have a uh, uh, something that the website for MechTech Systems provides is uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, uh, the explanation and, and uh, uh, the explanation of the laws. I'll read one particular paragraph. Uh, held further, a firearm, a restricted firearm, they're now talking about, like a short-barreled rifle as defined by, and they specifically refer back to a paragraph, is not made when a pistol is attached to a part or parts designed to convert the pistol into a rifle with a barrel of 16 inches or more in length, and the parts are later unassembled into a configuration not regulated under the NFA, for example, as a pistol. Uh, so, you know, there are... Uh, People, you know, rightfully so, are worried about something like that. Like, there, are they attaching a stock to a pistol? Uh, can they disassemble it again and you still use their pistol? Yes. Yes, you can, and it's not considered attaching a stock to a pistol. Um, this one is for a 9mm Glock. Uh, takes the uh, uh, Glock magazines, the 33 round. The... Uh, Set Glock uh, 17, uh, 17 round. And I have a little X grip uh, adapter uh, that I put on the, the magazine, and then a Glock 15, uh, 19, 15 round uh, magazine uh, as well. Um, I went ahead and bought uh, a lower. You can buy just lowers off of, uh, for example, Gun Broker. I got this off of Gun Broker. Because I got tired of taking uh, taking this off, or actually what I got tired of doing is not having my Glock 19 available to me. Uh, safety check. Uh, the gun is empty. Uh, got tired of not having my Glock 19 on my hip while I was running and gunning with the carbine. So uh, I uh, went ahead and bought a, a lower off the gun broker uh, for uh, $200. And, of course, it is serialized, so I had to have the lower frame uh, shipped to my uh, FFL dealer. Uh, came with the uh, original two mags. It was uh, new in box, but first they took the, the, the slide and barrel for something else. Uh, back to the CCU, the carbine conversion unit. Um, they uh, have two different kinds for a Glock. Your compact frame, which they consider the 19 and the Glock 17 uh, or a full size frame. And of course they have them for uh, the 40 Smith & Wesson uh, 45 ACP, 10 millimeter, uh, 357 SIG. That, you know, they make them for the various Glock, uh, Glock models. Uh, like I said, this one is for my Glock, a Glock 19 um, and uh, operates with a straight blowback uh, action. And you can hold the bolt open uh, by uh, depressing uh, the bolt carrier there. Um, 
the uh, one thing it does not hold the bolt open after the last round is fired. You pull the trigger, it goes click, and you go, ah, oh, I've shot up the ammo. Um, some uh, some sp specifics, if you will. Uh, they, the basic unit is just at the barrel uh, with a tube, uh, and or the upper with just the tube, the barrel, which is 16 inches, um, and uh, perfectly uh, ready to run, but you don't have a stock on it. Uh, and uh, if you want a rail for attaching fun little things, that's extra too. So uh, let, let, letting me look at my cheat sheet here, the basic unit, as I just described, is uh, retails for 350 Dealer price is 270 um, The collapsible stock uh, is um, 80 and tube, the stock and tube. Uh, is eighty dollars retail and to uh, sixty dollars dealer cost. The monorail, which goes across the top of the barrel, is um, uh, retails for seventy five dollars. The dealer cost is fifty three. The mini rail, it's a three rail attachment at the front here, so you can attach a flashlight, a laser, or I've just got a sling mount on it is um, $25, uh, the dealer cost is 18 so retail uh, cost for, of course, not including the, the lower or the frame, and not including my scope or these Magpul uh, uh, backup sites, uh, is $530 with the stock and the, and the rails, uh, and uh, re the dealer cost is $400, uh, and these prices are as of uh, last September, September 2012. My dealer uh, charged me uh, $40, 10%, so I paid $440 for it. And then, as I said, I paid another $200 and got another uh, uh, lower or frame uh, for a Glock 19 so that I wouldn't have to convert this back and forth um, and uh, have a dedicated uh, carbine. Of course, I, as I said, I do have uh, some flip-up sights and uh, I take my, my scope off my AR and uh, slap it on this. I do have to re-zero it. It's a lot of fun. I um, guess I need to give you the weights. Did I? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, the upper weighs 5.3 5 pounds. Of course, the barrel is a little over 16 inches, 16.25, I think, in their catalog or on the website. Uh, stock collapsed. I think it's 26 inches. Stock, stock fully extended. It's 32 and a half inches. Um, and as I said, it's a straight blowback action. Comes, I think, with a one-year warranty and uh, uh, held up really nicely so far. I've put quite a few rounds through it um, and I'm enjoying it. Um, just one more uh, op uh, option out there. You know, the uh, Caltech Sub 2K is uh, Probably the most popular, but uh, the prices for those is, are, are quite high. Um, I don't know what the, what the latest uh, uh, gun run has done on uh, the price of the uh, upper unit here, but uh, just thought I'd throw this out as another option. I'll take it out to the range, uh, shoot it up with uh, one video, and post that one separately. Uh, any questions, you can email me or post a comment, and I'll try to reply. Thanks for watching.